All right, folks, Tim here from High On Cheap Tech, and uh, today we have a quick video on uh, uh, the Pixel 4. And apparently, hey, me and Google are the only non two trained seals on the face of the planet. We both agree. Ain't nothing wrong with the top bezel. And of course, you know, all the reviewers out there are probably going, oh my God, it doesn't look modern. And you know what? Who got, who put you guys in charge? I want to see the memo. I want to see the executive order. I want to see the memo from God that said, you'll decide what looks good. We'll decide what looks good. And what looks good is what works. And, and Apple did a hell of a, a good thing with their face unlocked. They just decided to hang a big ass bezel on one side of your screen in your way. Google has gone the opposite direction and put a bezel on top so i now feel kind of vindicated and i will link two videos in the description at the end or not in the description at the very end of the video watch those you'll see i was way ahead of the curve on this and uh then leave your feedback read the description below let's get right to the main content it, this stuff is released directly from Google. These aren't leaks. These are basically adverts for their upcoming Pixel 4. Let's get to it. All right, folks, we got a couple of leaks which are not leaks these actually come from google this is actual advertising as a matter of fact they said in one of their comments oh hell we'll just leak it ourselves uh this was made by google it's a little video i'm not going to play it for you uh, there will be a link in the description below read the damn description below for once in your life try reading i know it's difficult I know you're the younger generation and you just need to stare at pictures. Try reading. You might learn something when you read. And then the second quote leak was right here. And they've also got the video link. But this is by product manager Pixel, Brandon Barbello. And let's look down here. And this is exactly what I talked about. So when you get to the end of the video, if you watch the whole thing, you might learn something here. You'll see that I linked a picture that I had found over on The Verge from Ice Universe or somewhere saying they were going to have a big bezel up top. There's a reason for that. Yes, they're going to have a bezel, and they're admitting it. And they don't seem to care, which means Google and Tim are the only... Two entities on Earth who don't give a crap about whether there's a bezel up there. And Apple did a great thing with their face unlock. Unfortunately, they decided to hang all that crap in your way, so it wasn't real immersive watching their phones. Come on. And if you point, drill a hole through the screen, it's not immersive. And if you have a pop-up camera, you have possibility of mechanical failure. If you put all your sensors right there, you got a couple infrared sensors, a motion sensor, there's your earphone, and there's a camera up here for front shooting. Yeah, okay, so you don't have two or three. Darn! This is Google. They always they figure out a way through AI. And on the if you go to the YouTube video, which was linked, and this page will be linked, read it. You may learn something. They didn't waste their time putting an underscreen. There's no fingerprint reader on this. It's just like the Apple. Except instead of having something hang down in front of you, if you buy a 6.3 inch phone, all of it will be the 6.3 inches. No teardrops, no holes, no nothing. And no stupid, in they totally dispense with the in-screen fingerprint reader. And the fingerprint reader totally. It's going to have face unlock. 
secure, proper face unlock. Wow. So, watch those two videos that I'm going to link, and then you'll understand. I was a little pissed when nobody got it. Hardly anyone watched them. The fact of the matter is, folks, people have been feeding you a line of fashionista bullshit. It, it just doesn't look 2019. In this era, there's no need for... Yeah, there's a need for bezels. And I don't care. It, even if you have a pop-up camera, you don't have the two infrared sensors. It doesn't work good at night. It's just not the way to go. It's dumb. And the in-screen fingerprint reader. Do you need a fingerprint reader if you have a proper, secure face unlock that scans your face in 3D? And Apple doesn't need it. And it's considered secure. And you can use it with Apple Pay and other pay services. Same with this. It'll be secure. All at the expense of, oh, that might be not even a quarter inch bezel sitting up there, folks. And guess what? No one will die. And you'll get your whole notification bar like you've always gotten. And you can have it hide when you play videos. I'm sure. You may have to get Nova Launcher to do that, but, uh, or something like that. Point is, watch the whole damn video, check out those other two links, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've already been there, done that. I've tried to pass the word on. Yeah, there's only one guy and one company willing to tell you, bezels ain't so bad. Get over it. So that's all I have. So, here comes the big arrow. Read the damn description below. And if you found this useful, informative, or in any way helpful, please subscribe to our channel. And, uh, no, I probably won't be recommending this as a phone to buy because I don't recommend high-end phones. Um, I'm cool with one that uses a fingerprint reader on the back still. I don't need 90 hertz refresh rates. I don't need all the little niggling changes that are really incremental updates that really don't serve any purpose. Uh, I I'll tend to push phones that are worth your money when you finally figure out, well, I don't use any of those features. Oh, I take snapshots of the kids. Oh, get over there oh it shoots in 4 who cares if it shoots in 4k are you taking pictures of your grandson's birthday party in 4k why what's wrong with you you know no you're taking snapshots and what you need is a phone that gets the job done and has a secure face unlock that's all there is to it so here's a reminder Please like, please subscribe, click the little bell, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.